Hello everybody and welcome to this new bonus tutorial on the channel. So as I promised I'm gonna keep making occasional videos to keep you entertained and to keep this channel alive and to keep helping you improve your pronunciation. So today we're going to look at Lauren McCrosty who's an English actress and she's giving a really passionate um, speech about her coat. So Without further ado, let's get started. No, there will be further ado, and that is I'm going to say a couple of words about how we are going to proceed in case you're new here. So um, you will see the transcript for the whole video and each line has a transcription, uh, so with the symbols. And um, just a quick note that I do mark the stresses within words in the transcriptions also some uh, things about connected speech, so do try to pay attention to this transcription. But in the main lines, I make the stressed syllables bold to show that you have to focus on them. And uh, I also mark the intonation, so the specific tones, like where your voice goes. I use some weird symbols sometimes, but it's just like not official, but just to make it super straightforward and visual of how your voice has to move. But I'm gonna comment on this, so let's get started now. Um, the f we're going to go line by line, and the first one goes, and I have hunted. So uh, basically separated into two little chunks with a little pause, right? Um, it's, she starts with a weak form of and, yeah, which sounds as an, 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 yeah, and losing the D. So it's an, 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 rather than and, and, yeah. And besides, she doesn't link it. You might expect this link like an I, an I, but no, she breaks it, like say an and then say I separately, like separating your voice, yes, yeah, stopping your voice. An I, an I, right? Um, for I, you want to start with an open jaw and the tongue being in the center. I, I, don't push it forward, like I, I, try to kind of pull it down a bit and I and I and for I don't go too high like y y I I no I as if you're stopping like right under the top teeth and I and I pause have hunted so here have hunted is nice to practice this very light and easy out breath <laughs> When we say the sound, it's just an out breath. The tongue doesn't take part, should not be but and have is reduced, so also you barely open your mouth, yeah? Have 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 the tongue is relaxed, the back is not bunched up. And then hunted, the syllable hun is also a central vowel, so the tongue will be flat and central ha ha ha. Drop the jaw but um, like enough so that it's comfortable to breathe out, but don't pull the tongue forward, yeah? Ha, 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 no, ha, ha, ha. Have hunted, have hunted. Keep it short and rely on the consonants. Have hun, have hun, have hunted. Now, the, the ending, tid, it's important not to soften t, um, and to do that, make sure your tongue stays flat, t, 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 and you touch, the alveolar ridge with the tip. So, have hunted. Here, uh, in terms of intonation, um, we jump up on I and we hold it at a high note. And I, and I, and then we go, have hunted. Hun starts higher and then goes lower. But don't go all the way down. I kind of mark this tid as if it's on the Mid middle, it's held for a little bit in the middle. Hunted, hunted, because she's kind of you know showing this un non finality with it. And I have hunted, and I have hunted. Moving on to the next line, here on the contrary, she does connect an I. No D, still, there's a lesion. Um, so we link it like one word, 
and I, and I, and I. And both words here are, are unstressed, so we keep them lower. And I did hunt. Did is brought out. She's like changing the tense from uh, present perfect to past simple. So she's emphasizing that change. And I did hunt. So um, the word did is quite tricky, right? So not to soften de, you need to firstly find the hard de where your tongue is relatively flat, d, 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 rather than d, d, d. Don't bunch it up. D, 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 just the tip on the alveolar ridge. And then to go to the kit vowel, you let the tip drop, but you don't bunch up the bunch up. <laughs> Northern vibes. Uh, you don't bunch up the tongue. Uh, you don't say d, d. You go lower, d, d, e. And the body, it stays kind of under the top teeth. And I did, d, e, e. And I did hunt. And I did hunt. Um, so here, our, our whole attention is on did. We start lower, and I, then we jump up and fall on did. That's a high fall. You can see the slash coming down. And then hunt is just like lagging behind on, um, on a lower note, like a tail of did. And I did hunt. And I did hunt. Right? And I did hunt. Um, moving on to the next line. Far and wild for this coat. Um, so here again, we've got a, a little pause in the middle. So starting with the first chunk, which is just one word. Far. So the word far um, has the R vowel. For that, you want to pull your tongue uh, down and back a little bit, as if you're trying to uh, hide the front of the tongue and the tip um, under, no, sorry, behind the lower gums. Ah, ah, ah. So it should not bun pop up here. Ah, 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 fa, fa, no. Ah, ah, dip it, yeah? <laughs> far and wild. So direct your attention to the front, pull it down and back a bit and hold it in that position. Far, far. Your mouth might be um, very relaxed or a little bit rounded and you drop the jaw for this. Far and wild for this coat. So hold it on this high note. Whenever we have this kind of high stroke, it's just a high level note. We're not going anywhere. Far and wild for this coat. So a little bit of a pause and then we've got and wild. Firstly think about it as one word, again losing the D in and, yeah, and using the weak form and wild, and wild. For wild we have the same diphthong like like an I starting in the center, ah, ah, ah. Then we go up a bit for E and then we go down again relaxing for schwa. Why? Uh, like Technically, there's no schwa, but because we're going from I to the dark L, which is at the back, or, or the back of the tongue is raised. So we have to make this movement from the front to the back, and on the way, to make it kind of easier, we catch, we grab, um, pick up the schwa from the center of the mouth. So we go, I you see, once again, Wild. And then shifting all the stress to the beginning, we're going to get wild, wild, wild. But try kind of feeling this change of the, of the tongue in the mouth and give it some time. So far and wild, wild, right? And then you finish with old, which makes the mouth completely closed and feel the back of the tongue being active. Or, 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 wild, wild for this coat. So, uh, wild definitely, ha uh, okay, for this, sorry, I'm jumping around a bit, uh, too excited. Um, for this coat has a, quite a low direction. Oh, no, hold on. I think I got a bit confused here and I then changed my mind. And I have hunted. And I did hunt. Far and wild for this coat for this coat. So she kind of emphasizes this emphasizes this a bit more uh, than what I thought initially. So look, 
uh, we go for this coat but generally this this last part what I was trying to say is that it's kind of very very close together for this coat for this coat so for is just for and uh, uh, uh. there's no trace of or you should not say for for this for for but for 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 keep the tongue right here for for this for this this is super relaxed I, I, this and coat for coat um, you don't want to in the British English you don't want to say coat coat um, how to avoid this so firstly you need to check that your tongue does not drop too low or go too back like ko o o yeah this is where we have o ko ko you want to keep it more on the level of the lower teeth like here ka a a a you see so you can still see it and it's flat ka 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 drop the jaw keep the lips relaxed you don't want to go into kate either ka 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 from this position you let the tongue bunch up in the center <coughs> to say ooh and you bring the lips together close the jaw ka ut coat coat for this coat for this coat right so we have in terms of intonation far a high note far pause no linking no r far and wild for this coat wild has this wave <laughs> wild um, and then for this coat this jump jump up a bit on this and then coat is really low for this coat for this coat for this coat but keep it like pretty t tight right don't bring out anything too much so so far we've got uh, three lines and I have hunted and I did hunt far and wild for this coat for this coat Anyway, let's move on in the next video.